guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for tuning in my name is Lexi today's video is a story time story time story time story time I said I was gonna film Monday Wednesday and Friday but I haven't really found anything on Wednesday for working Wednesday that I really want to talk about so until I find something or think of something then we won't get a video on Wednesday. You'll just get videos on Monday and Friday. So, yeah, so stay tuned for that. So if you are looking for a Working Wednesday video, I'll try to get one out shortly. So today's video is a story time video. This video will be about me leaving the scene of an accident. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on social media. And don't forget to comment and subscribe, please. I love your comments. I love to know if you actually love my story time videos. And I love talking to you guys and just connecting with you all. So yeah, stay tuned. I didn't get my license until I was like 20, 21. Never felt the urge to, I think I wanted to when I was 16. My mama wouldn't let me because she said my sister did bad with her license when she got it. She wasn't focused on school. So therefore I had the short end of the stick and I couldn't get mine. So I didn't get it until I was like 20. When I got to college, I didn't really care about a license. Like my friends would drive me wherever I wanted to go. My boyfriend would drive me wherever I wanted to go. So I didn't care. So. Um, fast forward. Um, so I got my license. My dad gave me a car. He gave me a, a 95 Buick. So I had this car. I loved my car. I was so happy that I got it. And it was an older vehicle. I got the car. I was like, oh, I'm going to back to school. I'm going to get my life together. I'm about to go do this. I'm about to go do that. So I go to the little community college in the suburbs or whatever. I'm like, I think I had to go do my financial aid or whatever. So I go and the school was really big. So I think I was on the wrong side, like on the wrong side or I was, yeah, I had to come out to go back into the school to another side to get to the building I needed to go to. So you know how you go out into traffic and then uh, the cars may be coming too fast and you're like, oh shit, I need to back up. So I start backing up. They didn't look at my mirror or anything. I tapped this girl car. Literally, I'm like this. Tap it like that. Literally. I get out. I'm like, oh shit. So I, I get out the car and I'm looking and I look and I'm like, oh my God. This girl car is so messed up. She didn't get out the car yet. Her car is messed up like I hit it like head on collision like messed up. And my car has one little dick, right? So she gets out. She's like, oh my God, I just got this car today. And I can't believe this. And oh my God, I have to call my dad. The whole time I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She calls her dad. Mind you, this is like my second accident. I got into an accident one other time before when I fell asleep behind the wheel because I was so tired. I hit somebody in the back, but it was like literally like two minutes from my house. So my family came immediately. So I really didn't know the process for like an accident or anything like that. So I was kind of like, okay, she calls her dad. Her dad tells her to call the police. I'm like, oh my God. The whole time in my car and the whole time I'm thinking, because you know, if you're in Detroit, you know that insurance is high as hell in Detroit. The insurance was hot. My dad kicked me off his insurance because um, I got into that first accident. So I didn't, I, I had insurance. My, somebody in my family had got me insurance, but I don't think it was real insurance because I only paid like $25. I didn't pay on it monthly. I paid $25 and I had a car. So I'm like, I don't know if this is real insurance. I don't think it is in my head. Like, I don't think it is insurance. So I get back in the car. She's like, I'm going to call the police now. She calls the police. I get back in my car and I squirt off. I'm like, ah! I'm gone. So the whole time I'm driving home and I'm like, oh my God, I'm freaking out. I'm trying to find a road to go down. Like, oh my God, I'm freaking out. Like, what if the police are looking for my car, anything. Luckily, I get out of the suburbs. I get to Detroit. So I get home and I'm still thinking in my head like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I get a letter in the mail like a week and I think I told my friend Leah, I, that's the only person I told, I didn't tell anybody else. She was like, oh, well maybe they don't know it's you, whatever. I get a letter in the mail like two weeks later, it's like a letter, in the, it, it's from a cop and she's like, Someone said that you were in an accident with them, and I don't know if it was you or another person, but I need to know your side of the story, or we will have to issue a ticket or a warrant for your arrest. So I'm like, oh God. I'm still like, I'm not answering that. I'm not saying nothing. 
Two weeks later, a letter comes in the mail, a ticket comes in the mail, like leaving the scene of an accident, ticket, all of this. So I go to court. The same thing happened as in my video. If you haven't checked out my shoplifting video, check it out down below or click right here. It will be right here after this video. Check it out because it's a funny video. The same thing happened. I had to go into the little room with the guy in the big, um, in the little court and tell him my, my situation. So I'm in there like, I wasn't really scared because I already been to court at the same place. So I was like, okay. So I went and I'm like, I'm so sorry. It was my first accident. I was so scared. I would never leave the scene of an accident again. I apologize. I'm so, so sorry. So he's like, okay, this is, I'm telling that this wasn't your first accident. This was your sec second accident. And I'm just sitting there looking stupid like, I know, but I'll never do it again. And he's like, okay. So I go in the courtroom, I have to explain myself to the, I forgot what he said my sentencing would be, I don't remember that part, because they normally tell you beforehand, I think he told me beforehand. So I go into the courtroom and he's like, I talk to the judge, the judge, is, I, my court case comes up. You're in front of all of these people when you're in court as well, so it's kind of like embarrassing if you did something really, really bad. So I go up there and I'm like, I'm so sorry, I would never leave the scene of accident again, I tell him my situation, or whatever. So I went to court and I took my boyfriend with me. So at the time, my boyfriend at the time, I took him with me and then the guy was like, oh, I think you may try to flee and leave. So I'm going to um, give you two, you have to pay $200 on your bond. Like it was like a $200 bond or something like that. I had to pay $200. I was like, okay, perfect. So I took a deep breath like, oh my God, thank God, because I thought I was going to have to go to jail or whatever. So I had my debit card, so I'm like, can I use debit? He's like, no, you can't use debit. We don't take debit and credit card. You have to pay it with cash. So I'm like, oh my God. Luckily, I brought my boyfriend with me because I didn't want to bring him because it was kind of embarrassing for me. I didn't want to bring him, but I did. He had to go. They had to hold me contempt of court, put me in the back room in like a cell with this girl. And she was like 18. She was in trouble for like weed or something. And it was her prom day and all this. She was kind of cool, whatever. So I was back there. She was talking to me. It's, I was back there for like 25 minutes. The whole time in my head, I'm thinking like, I can never go to jail for real. Like, it was just, oh. Uh, freaky and scary and uh luckily my boyfriend he went and got the money off my car and he got me out or whatever come back again i get sentenced i get sentenced to probation and i give him the service once again so i had to do my community service probably like three saturdays out of the month you had to be on time all of that and then i got my probation which you go to probation they ask you questions like hey um have you left the country have you been in contact with the police anything like that you tell them no you pay all this money. I pay so much money for leaving the scene of accident. Like, if I could go back, I would have never done that. And it was, like, crazy. So, and I didn't have insurance. So, then I had to pay for the girl's car. Like, I had to pay a monthly payment to her, the, to her finance company for that vehicle. So, it was just a lot of money spent when I could have just... But, really, in all honesty, I just kind of feel like... Yeah... I didn't want to go to jail because I knew I was going to go to jail because I didn't have insurance. <laughs> That's initially why I pulled off. So really, I, mean, I wouldn't do it again. So that was my story time about the time that I left the scene of an accident. I finished everything. I finished all of my like community service and everything. And I never got in trouble again when it came to that. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs up if you love it. Don't thumbs down. And thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget to love yours, love yourself, love you. Always love yours, love yours. Have a great day, guys. Bye. I'll see you soon. Yes, I'm like, I know. I was being so sweet. 